Hi everybody, it's Christina from Card Making Magic. In the last video we painted this particular dress form but I'm now going to show you how to make the little skirts that you will need to go around your dress form and it doesn't matter how many layers you put to your skirts you're going to make them all in exactly the same way so let's go ahead and make the skirts now you need to choose the fabric that you're going to make your skirts out of and this is just a nice soft lace or, or net and you're going to need a piece of fabric that goes at least twice around your doll and you need to measure the distance from her waistline down to the hem and that will depend on the size of the mannequin that you're using um, mine is, is 10 centimeters from the waist down to the hem and this is the piece of fabric that I've cut ready to make the skirt with and I've got some matching ribbon and I'm going to use the, the really super sticky red tape. Now I need to know the distance around that waist so I'm just taking a piece of odd ribbon and with a little bit of overlap I'm just going to see how much material I need and then I'm going to cut that piece off. And that will then be the size that I need to pleat my skirt to. So there's my strip that I need to make my skirt to and on my non-stick craft mat I'm going to put down a big long piece of the red line tape and I'm going to press it down onto my sheet. Now I'm going to peel the backing off and then I'm going to start adding in the, the fabric. So I'm just going to press it onto the tape and then I'm going to bring it forward into a pleat and press it down again. And I'm going to continue doing that all along so that I now form pleats into that fabric. And I'm going to do it to that length. So I'll just keep pressing it down and if it's too long you can always trim it off when you've finished. So just press it down onto the tape and now you can see that the pleats are forming in that fabric. So there's my fabric pleated and I'm going to take one of the ends of the tape off the sheet and I'm going to bring it across the pleats still on the edge and that will just hold all those pleats in place and do the same at the other end and bring that across. That's just keeping your pleats in place. And then with your ribbon, you're going to take a piece of ribbon and you're going to very carefully stick it onto the top of sticky tape and trim the end off. Once you've got your ribbon stuck on one side you're going to very carefully bring it off your sheet, flip it over and you're going to add ribbon to the other side of the sticky tape. Just marry it up with one side and then you can trim that off and with your scissors you can just trim off any lace that is outside. So there you have the first part of your skirt done. Now once you've got your skirt pleated and your ribbon in place you need some velcro and this is um, hook and loop and obviously I've got the two separate pieces. So I'm just going to cut myself a piece of, from each one to fit along that band so I only need a thin piece. Now with the two opposite pieces of the velcro this is self-adhesive 
So I'm just going to take the backing off and I'm going to pop one along that outer edge and then I'm going to turn the whole lot over and put the corresponding piece along the other edge. Once you've got your velcro in place you're just going to pop the skirt around your dress form and the velcro will just keep it in place. Now I've also done the same thing with a, a second layer of the skirt but this time I have edged it with the same beading, the same trim as I've used around the neck and I'm going to put this skirt on so that that trim is at the front of the dress and to hide the velcro I've made a little bow and I'm going to attach that just along there to the skirt. Now to just finish the skirt off I'm going to add in some rosebuds onto the fabric and I'll come back to you when I've done that. So I've decided to fasten the skirt at the back and put the bow to the back and I've decorated the rest of the skirt with the rosebuds. I'm going to decorate the stand now with some more flowers and some ribbon and I'll get back to you when that's been done. So there we have the stand decorated and the finished dress form and it doesn't matter which material you use you can create the pleats in the fabric exactly the same way. In the next video I'm going to make a different style hat to go with your dress forms.